Hey there, David with 365cloudtech.com. Uh, today I want to do a demonstration on the near field communication between the Sony Duo 11 Ultrabook and I have a Samsung Galaxy S3 Android platform phone here uh, that has near field communication on it. Um, my buddy was kind enough to loan me this to do some testing with, so uh, just wanted to see how it works between the uh, Windows platform and the Android platform. Uh, this is a if there is multiple generations of this phone, this is definitely a first generation device because he did pre-order it uh, when it was initially coming out. Um, and so on the Ultrabook, this runs a full Windows 8 uh, operating system, uh, just like uh, any new laptop coming out. Um, make sure the near field communication is turned on on the actual Ultrabook. Uh, you want to go into settings and then change PC settings down here at the bottom right and then we'll see wireless so go ahead and hit wireless and then you'll see NFC for near field communication make sure that slider is turned on uh, by default I believe it is turned off uh, it was for my device uh, so make sure that is turned on and then uh, on the back right here that is where the near field communication chip is it has a little uh, emblems on the back so uh, you know where that is and to start I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a website over from the Galaxy S3 go ahead and bring up Amazon here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the tap to send on the back here. Get it started. And there we go, receive content. So tap to receive content from the device. And there we go, we got the Amazon website from the Galaxy S3. So let's go ahead and uh, check it bi directional. I'm going to go ahead and go to just my website here, 365 Cloud Tech, and then uh, to send it from the Ultrabook here, you go ahead and uh, slide out the sidebar and hit settings. Uh, excuse me, not settings, uh, you hit devices and then tap to send. So you'll see that right there. Go ahead and hit that. It'll put a little staging thing up saying it's ready to tap to send and uh, share the content. So on the S3, I did not have to do anything to specifically receive it other than make sure the screen was on. So go ahead and just put that on the near field communication. And just like that, it sent. Let's see, it should be pulling up the website here. There we go, pulled up my website. All right, so that is the quick rundown of the near field communication between these two devices. Uh, I did try and send a picture, uh, and it did give me an error code uh, both ways. So they, these devices don't like talking to each other, uh, at least with this generation phone. I don't know if there's new software or new chips for NFC coming out. I'll just do a quick uh, picture demonstration of trying to send a picture and I'll show you what it gets when it tries to send from the Windows platform to the Android. So go ahead and do the tap to send and then you can see it gets a new tag collected error right there. Uh, so that's what I'm getting when I see it. I don't know if there's new software or new chips that actually let these talk cross-platform, um, but they did not like it when I tried to send files that way. Um, and I tried sending it out of a different application on the Ultrabook. Uh, I like this application called Share My Files because there's no uh, no size limit on trying to send files. Uh, you can actually uh, I tested with another uh, Duo 11 Ultrabook that my coworker had, and I uh, sent a big file. Uh, it was the Skyfall trailer in HD that was preloaded on the Ultrabook here and I was able to send it through this program just fine but when I was trying to do it through the actual movie uh, program that runs the uh, video file it did not um, want to send that. It didn't even give me a tap to send on the side right here uh, when you hit devices. Uh, so that was the uh, quick rundown of the NFC. Hopefully uh, you got to see what you wanted out of this. Uh, if you have any questions or anything go feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.